Hello everyone, I am Mihaela from Atelier Miko and this is how I made these plaster DIY wall art pieces and how you can too. For this project you are going to need some essential tools. I went to Hornbach, my local DIY store that has all the home tools I needed for this project. The main materials you are going to need are a canvas, a wire mesh and drain compound, which you can find in every local DIY store. I chose my canvas of 80 and 80 centimeters and then I went to find the wire mesh. As you can see, you have multiple choices of wire mesh. I chose the one with the bigger holes so I can model it better. Other materials you're going to need are some protection gloves, staple gun, plastic drop cloth for protection, plaster, painting brushes, plaster bandages, sanding paper and varnish. First I am going to cut the wire mesh so I can have the perfect dimension for my canvas. Then I am going to staple the wire mesh only on one side of the canvas frame. After that, I'm going to start modeling my painting. After we have finished modeling the wireframe, turn over the canvas and staple the other sides of the wire mesh on the canvas frame. After the wire mesh is pinned perfectly on the canvas frame, we can start applying plaster bandages. You have to dip it in water or just put the plaster bandage on the wireframe and then you can apply water with a paintbrush or with a bottle spray until it's perfectly stuck on the wire mesh.
this until all the wire mesh is covered in plaster bandages and then let it fully dry for about 4 hours. After it has dried, you can start mixing your joint compound. The difference between plaster and joint compound isn't that big, is that joint compound doesn't crack when you make this kind of project. When you mix, you add one part water and two parts joint compound and then you mix it until you have a smooth cream. apply the first coat with a paintbrush. I start applying it with a big paintbrush and then I smooth it out with a small paintbrush with water. After it has dried, you can sandpaper it or you can just reapply the second layer. For this project, I wanted to keep the texture smooth from the paintbrush, so I didn't sandpaper it. So at every layer I applied, I smooth it out with water so it can be really really smooth when it dries. But if you don't like the final texture, you can sandpaper it and then apply varnish.
thank you so much for watching let us know if you tried this project in the comments below and tell us how it turned out